So the corner of my office that will eventually become my filming corner is still filled with boxes and stuff that we have yet to unpack. So for now, we're just going to film in the living room on the sofa, which I love. We still have nothing on the walls. One day soon, I will have my Hufflepuff common room poster up somewhere. Who knows? Some of my friends have said it's ugly and that makes me sad. Anyway, it is October and so I thought I would share with you some of my favourites from September. First of all, as usual, books, or in this case, book. Once again, I have been terrible at reading and also the book I'm about to show you, I haven't even finished yet. But I really like it and I am going to finish it. It is Lady Chatterley's, or is it Chatterley's, not sure, Lover by... <laughs> I can't. D.H. Lawrence! I knew that. It is about Connie, who is Lady Chatterley, and she has a love affair with the gameskeeper, kind of with the permission of her husband, who is in a wheelchair and paralysed from, like, the waist down since coming back from the war. So they're not having sex and he can't uh, impregnate her. And he's like, get me an heir. And she's like, sure. Um, and it's all about her romping adventures with with men. She's having sex with different men, but I'm like, okay, but in the 1920s, what reliable contraception was there? But like in her head, she's still very much in control of whether or not she has children. So there must be some kind of birth control there, whether that is fertility awareness or, you know, crappy old condoms. I'm just curious as to how she feels in control of her reproductive future. Some of the first sex scenes between her and her lover uh, are, they, they read to me as very non-consensual, which isn't acknowledged because it was written in the 1920s. And I'm like, is this supposed to be romantic? Is this supposed to be desired? I don't know. But other than that, still very much enjoying this classic. And look also how sexy this uh, front cover is. Reminds me of Twilight. Just imagine that apple. So I have a bunch of film favorites from September. I went to see Crazy Rich Asians, which was just super fun rom-com, a bit ridiculous, but very funny. And I went to a screening of it and Kate Blanchett was sat four seats away from me. And I needed the toilet twice during the screening and had to like clamber over her and her son a couple times. But that wasn't distracting from the film, which was, which was just fun. And then another film that I watched, which is on Netflix and also has an Asian protagonist is To All The Boys I've Loved Before. And this was just, beautiful and stunning. It was just such a heartwarming little rom-com. In Crazy Rich Asians, I wasn't really rooting for the couple. I didn't really care about them together. Whereas into all the boys I've loved before, I was like, come on. <laughs> like when you're actually like at the screen, just like, please just realize that you love each other and just be together. And then I also got to see A Simple Favor, which has Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively lovely lively in it and it was like gone girl on steroids it it was <laughs> it felt like it was very much taking the piss out of that genre like very self-aware anna kendrick's character is like a mummy vlogger and during this time that her friend is missing and potentially have been murdered and stuff she's like vlogging just like hey moms so my friend is missing <laughs> is I really enjoyed it. I think it was a bit ridiculous. I also went to the theatre a bunch in September. Went to go see Sylvia with my friend Lena Norms. Um, and Sylvia is a hip hop musical based off of Sylvia Pankhurst. And it's about the suffragettes and the fight for the women's right to vote. It was just phenomenal. But the musical is very much a work in progress, so and, and a lot of the cast were ill, so the version that we saw was like the concert version, but it didn't feel like that at all. There was still like movement, there was the orchestra there. It was very interesting, it was about that conflict between Sylvia and her other family members about like getting any woman the vote, just like, please, any woman, can any woman just have the vote, versus all women having the vote. And the other bit of theatre that I went to see, which is also a musical, was Heathers. Now I love 
the film Heathers and I went to see it with Lena again and also our friend Lucy and neither of them had seen the film so it was ex very exciting for me to watch them like watch the plot unfold for the first time. It's basically a 1980s Mean Girls but dark, like really dark <laughs> and of course Carrie Hope Fletcher plays Veronica and she is absolutely fantastic in it and I think pretty much all of us had massive crushes on JD. We were watching it and me and Lena were just like very much attracted to JD and I was like he kind of reminds me of Dan and Lena was like he kind of reminds me of Craig. <laughs> so we're like great this guy that was on stage that we're attracted to reminds each of us of our own boyfriends. So some of you may know that my sister Leah is a graphic designer. She's designed a few bits for me like the do I look like a slut poster and also banging book club bookmarks but you know she makes her own stuff too and she has an instagram and i was just scrolling and i saw that she'd made these prints and i was like they're amazing and i just texted her like can i have some for the new flat and so she sent me these so we got these in the two different colors and i'm not sure if we like hang them up next to each other or what we're gonna do with it in her caption she mentioned this it's meant to be about like a representation of anxiety and like her mental health and stuff oh literally as i just went on my sister's instagram she has 1000 followers so proud so proud but yeah definitely go follow my sister on instagram if you're into graphic design illustration and mental health stuff and also she's just opened an etsy shop so do go check that out she's got a bunch of postcards and prints for sale on there and i'm just i'm just so proud of her and you know, if I can help her out by telling you about her work, then obviously I'm gonna do that. So these next guys I feel like are in pretty much all of my favorites videos, but it's because I love them so much. I want to share the love with you because also I got you that discount. And it is obviously the jewelry company, Eclectic Eccentricity. These look at these beauties and then these ones too, there's like these hoopy ones with like a crescent moon on and then these like, is it a hexagon? I don't know, a shape with a little B. They also sent me this necklace which says women for women on it and they've got a range of these necklaces. Others say sisterhood and another one says still I rise and they've partnered with the charity Women for Women International on these and eight pounds from every sale of these goes towards Women for Women International. And they recently released some homeware. So I got some coasters for my new home. And I love these, they're like little palm leaves. I've never been the type of person that's like, no, 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 don't put your drink on the table, use the coaster. But now that this is my home and I own the furniture, I'm very protective. But yeah, you can get 10% off anything on their store if you use um, the code Hannah, just my name, Hannah, and that is an affiliate code, so I get a small cut of anything that is purchased using that code, just FYI. Next, we have some fashion-y pieces. So, now that it's getting cold again, I needed me some black skinny jeans, because basically, last winter, I was ill and then after getting out of hospital and recovering from surgery, all I wore was leggings. But now it's getting cold again, I'm like, I'm ready, I'm ready to have some black skinny jeans again. It is time. And I'm very, very in love with the pair I got. I got them from ASOS and did I? I don't think I got petite in the end because they didn't have any available in my size, but leg 30 in skinny jeans is like fine for me. But yeah, these are them. I mean, nothing special. It's just a pair of black skinny jeans. Oh, also they're high-waisted because I've now realized that basically everything that I have to wear has to be high-waisted, which is fine because I look great in high-waisted clothes. Jeans, great. Ooh, these actually need to go in the wash, so. The other thing I got also from ASOS was for Buffer Festival. So Buffer Festival is a YouTube film festival that happens in Toronto every year and I love it so much and they have a gala and there's a red carpet and you get to see your video premiered on a big screen in a theater and it's just a wonderful amazing experience and this was my red carpet outfit it is a jumpsuit the only thing with this was 
was that I couldn't wear a bra with it. Like it just wouldn't work with the cut. So I went braless on a red carpet. And the way that this works is that it's very, it's very booby. And I was very nervous. And there was a lot of stares and comments, but like all positive ones. Just everyone just being like, wow. <laughs> so what is not a favorite is nipple guards. So I bought like these nipple guards just in case there was a nip slip. And they're also like scared of, you know, freeing the nipple or whatever, but don't do it. Cause basically, I don't know what happened was I put it on wrong. It pulled like the skin too tight. It was like stinging. And I was like, why are these nipple guards stinging? And this was like after the event and everything. So I like pulled them off. And basically here on <laughs> this side of my nipple, it like cut. Now it's like scarred over and stuff, but like, ow, never again. Nipple guards, you are not a favorite. Like go away. I would, I'd rather everyone see my stiff nips through like a thing like this than have to go through that pain again. That was horrendous. Is that it? Is that everything? Oh, no, it is not. I keep a list on my phone. Speaking of which, oh, what's that, Hannah? Is that the new, new iPhone? Yes, it is. Upgraded from the iPhone 6S to the iPhone 10S. I love it so much. It is beautiful. I got it in gold, but I also bought like just a plasticky clear case on Amazon. And then I also got this pop socket which has got space on it. And I love it, I love it, I love it. But yeah, I've been taking lots of photos in portrait mode and it is a good time. And then another favorite of mine is a rug, <laughs> which is right down there from where you are. You are you are currently on top of the rug. I love this rug so much. It just totally goes with the vibe and the aesthetic that I want for in here. So we have this like bright blue sofa. Our dining room chairs, which are just over there, are this color and it's also so soft and I love it. All right, that is it for my monthly favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to leave in the comments any of your favorites from this month and any recommendations that you have of things that I should check out. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you soon. Bye.